Hi, thanks so much for joining me for Everyday Vlogmas 2021. Now, if you were here last year, you'll know that I posted a video every day from December 1st to December 24th. So this year is going to look a little bit different. So if you are new here, it won't look exactly the same as it did, but what I'm going to do is try and post as often as I can because today is already not the first and we are traveling a few times, no, a couple of times during the time period as well as having two separate sets of guests visit. Um, so between now and like mid-January, we'll be either traveling or hosting guests. So my posting schedule, I can't guarantee it's gonna happen every day, but I will try and post as many videos as possible. And I also have a couple of videos I haven't posted yet, which actually I filmed before I got my haircut. So you'll see those. It's the November um, favorites get ready with me because I think there's still some interesting information in there as well as the holiday collection, the limited edition collection get ready with me where I think I use all of the products that I have or as many as I could. So those will go up as part of Vlogmas, even though they were filmed a little bit before. And the clips today were filmed in the last couple of weeks, so I do some unboxing, the Chanel class I took, also some packing and traveling to the Midwest where my husband grew up, and then, so we're gonna go a little bit back in time first for some unboxing, and I think my hair is long there as well. Just make sure you're subscribed in case you wanna see those videos, and if you want to be alerted right away that I posted a video, make sure to hit the bell next to the subscribed, because that will let you know exactly when I post. It'll just show up that I posted a video, because I don't know if I'll be able to post at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every video, they might just go up when they're ready. So if you do want to be alerted right away, make sure to hit that bell. But let's go ahead to some unboxing. Hello, we are strategically seated here because everything is a disaster in here. I've gotten so many packages in. I actually wanted to unbox something with you though because I want to unbox it anyway and I thought let's do this together because I've been wanting a designer ball cap because you know I love my Eric Javits hats yeah, I love them for the summer, but they're not really like winter hats. I've always looked for like a nice felt hat, like a almost like a fedora between that and a like a cowboy hat almost. But I've never found one. I want a cream one, so I'm always on the hunt for that. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I found a cap. So the options were Balenciaga. I had my sister's help with this, so Balenciaga was one. So there was like the black one, but I thought, no, that's too dark. And then they had a beautiful, like a cream colored one. But then I thought that's gonna get dirty because my fingerprints, especially with makeup or like a white one, I thought would be nice. So I was looking for a neutral color. So I found this one and it's not Balenciaga. It actually is this Balmain. I think we got the right shade. I mean, we had a nice conversation about this, but I think I got the right color because it's a neutral. So this is a shade I got and I think it's perfect. Although the box it came in was flat. So I was very confused. It's a an olive color, which I think it's gonna be really pretty with most shades and it's a little bit darker. So if it gets dirty, then that's not okay, but at least it won't show. So let's see what this looks like on. I got this from Intermix, but I waited a while for it. So here's what it looks like on. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, because I was looking for a hat to travel with, although I'm not sure why it's sticking out like this. I wanted to go flat. Maybe it's so it was packed, but I'm going to be traveling with this. I wanted a cute little designer hat that has a logo, but nothing too um, obvious. So cute. So I'm really excited to travel with this. I feel like it needs to be reshaped a little bit. Very happy with this purchase. I'm gonna wear this because I like it. Um, but I got a box. This is from the Hut group. They sent one over. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Hut group sent over so many things. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending this over. So let's take a look. The Espa Optimal Skin Pro Serum. Oh my gosh, I just started using this and it's really nice. So I didn't include it in my skincare routine because I'm just starting to use it, but Yay, thank you so much, I love this. It smells beautiful, it very much reminds me of the spa. Ameliorate, so it's a replenishing facial cream. And I have the hand lotion, the Ameliorate hand lotion, it's really nice, it's got a like a smoothing effect on the hands, so I'm curious about the facial cream. We'll try this. 
Um, actually, my husband's looking for a facial cream, so I might have him try that for us. Then we've got the Go With The Flow Body Oil. I don't know this. It's a Mio, it's a name. I feel like you can't see me. Hold on, let me take my hat off as much as I like it. Um, I feel like it's too much of a shadow. Okay. Um, we've got the Go With The Flow Body Oil, and I need one right now because I actually ran out of lotion, so we'll try this. Ooh, it smells good. It's got a clean scent about it. And then we've got an Ico Black Magic Mascara, which I have not tried. Crows and brown. Oh, okay, a brown mascara. I have all black mascaras. I tried like a navy one once, but um, we're gonna try this brown mascara. Oh, nice. Um, by the way, I'm not sure when this is going up, but they are having some sales going up. We've got the Mega Mama Shower Milk. <laughs> is a nourishing cleanser oh nice okay can always use a beautiful cleanser that smells a little citrusy nice so we have a grow gorgeous intelligent hair care defense anti-pollution leave-in spray i've never tried this before oh it's pretty it's got a pretty bottle it's like gray let me know if you've tried these okay that smells good too it smells like a salon type product oh cute a little crystal for bean i love this the cleansing purifying scrub you know i love this i'm on my like third tub of this i've got another one ready to go but this is great thank you so much it's illamasqua hydroveil rehydrating gel i don't know anything really about this brand i thought they just did makeup is this makeup or skincare oh look it's got a little spoon or something in there yeah it's like a something applicator Oh, interesting. It truly is a, it's a gel. Huh. I have never tried like a gel kind of item. It's the best-selling clear gel, which instantly helps skin feel hydrated and smooth. The lightweight water-based formula is quickly absorbed by the skin and the perfect base for long wear foundation application. Leave your skin looking flawless. That makes a lot of sense to have something smooth like that. Very solution-based kind of item. Thank you so much again to the Hut Group for sending everything over. There's an extra savings with Cyber2021 as the code in case you're interested in anything. I'll leave the code below as well as links to all of these brands. Okay, but that is it for the unboxing. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing with you. While I had this makeup on, I love this eye look. I forgot about those products that I used in that video, specifically the eye product, the one I think it's Piazza San Marco. Yeah, really lovely. So I'm glad I tried those out again. But the next time I see you, I think we'll be doing the Chanel class. So I'll see you in a couple days. Hello there. I just did get my hair cut, so it's very short. So <laughs> pleased with the cut. And styling seems to be easy so far, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm just gonna log on here to a Chanel Evening Glam with Tasha Reiko Brown. They also sent over the cutest bag um, kit. So we're gonna use things in here. Look how cute that is. So excited to log on. Oh, I'm a little bit late. Let me log on. I also have to film my skincare video inserts here in a little bit. So that's why that's all sitting out there. All those little things. I think that's a better view at least. Okay, so let's see if I can get in. It says it's starting in zero minutes. Last time there was a little issue getting this started. So we'll see if there's the same issue. Okay, so that was so fun. I learned a lot as always. I kind of was like messy about my makeup, but I decided let's go in with something fun because I know that you appreciate when I kind of work outside of the box, um, like the Byredo palettes. So I thought, let me pick something that is definitely something I don't normally wear, which is the Road Movie palette. And I started out though with the, um, one of their eyeshadow sticks that's, I don't think it's available anymore, the Beige Perle, because I thought I was gonna do something like smoky brown. I wish I had a deeper one, um, but then I just went in with this, so I kind of negated everything I just did, but I guess it served as a primer. And I went in with this teal color first, just 
kind of put it all over the lid. I wanted to see what it looked like. And then I went above, did I go above? I think maybe I went in the corner with this navy. And then this I kind of just used as a blending shade. Went underneath with the teal shade as well. And then I just used a little bit of this under the brow. So that was fun because I know I'm gonna wash my face here in a minute. Anyway, I also went in, I wanted something a little bit lighter. So I went in with this, it's old. I don't think it's available anymore. It might be 925 or antique. It's like a really warm gold. So I just used that in the inner corner here. Um, I wanted to brighten up that teal a little bit. So I put the bronze shade on top of it. I didn't know if it's just gonna get muddy or what, but I put this shade on the lid. So that's took down the teal a little bit. Um, Loved their primer and mascara. I used to prime with mascara before. It was like the Dior primer I would use with, I um, can't remember the actual mascara though. But I did love the Dior primer. Yeah, I can't recall. Then I just went in with this, which I haven't used for a while. It's still a little bit light for me, but the uh, Beige Medium Palette, the Palette Essentielle, Essentielle. This one right here. So I just tapped it on. She talked a lot about how the foundation can go a lot lighter if you conceal, which I do, or color correct, which I do. Um, and then actually not doing the contour or bronzing till the end because sometimes the blush will carve it out. I didn't put it today just because everything I needed is over there. I went in with the old jersey. I don't think I have the new jersey yet, but I used new jersey. I used this shade on my cheeks, something kind of light but still warm. And then using the lip product, my lips are very chapped, but using the lip product and just dotting it on and then using it as a blush. I thought, oh, that's really smart because I think this color is so pretty. So I'm actually going to pack this away in my travel because I think it's a really versatile product because it's a lovely lip color as well as cheek color. And it just really blended nicely. Um, and then they gave us this cute little, how cute is this? Chanel, Chanel number no. five tester. And I don't know if I've actually really smelled this. Very classic scent, really cute little tester. I wish more testers came like this. How sweet is that? Like a teeny tiny little one. Like I said, just wanted to play with some of the makeup and, oh, I wanted to show you, I think my hat looks really cute with this hair. So let me go get it. Yeah, the light is really not flattering with this um, angle, but I love it putting my hair Oh, not like that. Hold on with this hat. I think it's so cute And then these little things that bump up actually it kind of gives a little bit more volume here Maybe I'll try and steam it a little bit, but otherwise it's a really great shape of a hat Let me see if I can bend down because sometimes this thing this thing the cap part is too close to the head like this So I like that there's a little bit of height here because it just elongates the face I think and it goes really well with the face shape so really pleased with this um, Balmain cap with a very very fancy eye you can see I'm packing I've got a lot of stuff here I'm trying to pack but I think this is about as dressed up as I'm gonna get for Thanksgiving it's a really casual Thanksgiving so just this is a I'm not sure what blouse this is I don't even know what blouse this is, but it has a little button here. I could button it or unbutton it. I'm going to bring my Theory sweater that I love so much because I think I'm doing really minimal packing and then I can use this in several different ways. I can button this all the way up if I want to button it. So yeah, we're going to do some really super minimal packing. So these will be the only two sweaters I'm going to take. My Theory sweater, the one with the buttons, and then um, another cashmere sweater. This is a Vince sweater. That I got a couple seasons ago. I love it though. It's a beautiful oatmeal shade, really soft. And I'm gonna just bring various long sleeve shirts to wear underneath and just wear this on repeat. So I've got one in the Monos, the compression uh, packing cubes. So let's see if I can get the other one in there and then see if we can compress it. So I now have both of them in here. I'm gonna zip this up and see how compressed we can get this. So we've got this uh, all zipped up. So now I just have to zip this other zipper up and get that all the way around. I got this to compress all the way down. How nice. Okay, so let's see how much more we can pack because of these packing cubes. I like that. And I knew these were somewhere. Okay, I need to wash them because they've been in storage. Um, but these are some really like thin tissue type tees. Let me see, they're very wrinkled. Um, long sleeve, 
These will go uh, well under all the sweaters, but you can see there's like a camel colored one. Again, all long sleeve. I got these two years ago maybe. Intimissimi had a sale on Thanksgiving, so <laughs> yeah, really wrinkled. But there's one that's a turtleneck. And these are the softest layering pieces though. There's one that's a crew neck, but it's got like an unfinished. So if you have like itchier sweaters, these are good to put under, but both of my sweaters are very soft. And then there's this other turtleneck thing. So actually, these are gonna be my base layers that I take with me for under the sweaters. And then hopefully I'll be able to wear them for you and they can look a little bit better, but I'm gonna just quick wash them. Okay, I just wanna talk through my skincare here because uh, I just like to double check I have everything. So I have a cleanser. This lasts quite a long time. It goes, a little goes a long way with this. So I've got that. I have my new, um, from the advent calendar, the purifying and exfoliating phytoactive solution, which I use twice a day. Then we're gonna go in with this, uh, a new to me product, but this is from the advent calendar as well. I love this size. It's the BioLifting serum. Oh yeah, I also forgot. I decanted a little bit of the blue light hyaluronic serum and the brightening serum by Clay de Poe. I had to decant that as well. So hopefully I remember what those are. Also from the advent calendar, the BioLifting cream plus. I'm bringing my faded spot remover by Topicals. We have the stress repair concentrate the little mini one by Chantecai, again from the advent calendar, so handy. I'm also bringing for a little more hydration, it's probably pretty dry there, I'm assuming. Um, we've got the Rose de May face oil from the advent calendar. Then we have the lip potion by Chantecai as well um, from the advent calendar. I'm also bringing an eye makeup remover. I'm also gonna see if I can fit this in my uh, bag. I wanna take this, because I don't think I have anything to Put this in anything smaller. We'll see if this fits in the carry-on, but it's a pretty substantial glass on it, so it doesn't seem like it would break easily, but I do want to bring this fragrance. Then for makeup, super minimal. I've got the under eye concealer Sizzly. I've got this uh, Stilo Lumiere. I'm going to use that with the Clay de Peau brush, the um, concealer brush that I recently picked up. I'm bringing the M Cosmetics, this one. Um, really nice and hydrating so I was really impressed really nice and emollient so taking that um, Gucci eyebrow pencil teeny tiny uh, Dior show pump and brow brow I'm bringing the mini Chantecai mascara so these are my key things like conceal eyebrows lashes like if I only brought one thing if, if I only brought a few things it would be these oh and also also my clay de peau um, concealer so those would be like my essentials um, and then like a lip balm, yes. Okay, so maybe those would be essentials, any lip balm product. Um, I'm bringing the Cheeky Blush Shade in Major by um, Victoria Beckham Beauty. Also, the Lip Color in Spark, which is my favorite. Oh, I'm bringing my Grande Brow, I forgot. I need that Chantecaille's um, Black Eyeliner. I was going to bring this, but I, see that's what happens when I don't buy a case. I'm not gonna take that because it's gonna break. Um, so I'm gonna take this one. It's Sea Turtle by Chantecai and the case is pretty sturdy. So I'm taking that one to layer on top of this also though. I am, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. Okay, wow, I almost dropped this. The um, Natasha Denona palette, I'm taking this one, the one that I use. So we're gonna go with this one um, because this is the one that I've tried, but look what just arrived. The light one just arrived and I don't have time to film it. So I'm gonna to have to film when I get back, but let's at least look at it. Okay, so I turned the big light on. So this is lighter than this in terms of the shade. I wish I could bring this and try it, but I'm gonna wait. <laughs> um, and then here's the inside. See, these look also more vivid and bolder than online. But like I said, I did see them in person at one time, but it's good to look at them again, and yeah, I really wish I could bring this one with me. So let's look at them side by side. There's a lighter palette, and here's the darker palette. So we'll wait to do this one when I come back. Really quick, I just wanted to show you also the packing cubes worked really nicely in here. And also, I just wanted to protect my cashmere, so I put it back in the plastic, like the protector. Um, but everything else fit in here nicely. I've got my toothbrush and um, some warm socks I just picked up. Oh, I yeah, picked up some hiking socks 
like I said, and yeah, I think I've got two sweaters in here. I just need to find another pair of jeans and then I'll be ready to go. And my brush fits really nicely in here as well. So we got everything packed here with my hat so I don't forget it. And also we've got um, the liquids in here. And then I've got my makeup actually in here because I do have my laptop in here. I'm gonna work on the plane, but nice and compact. And my hat. Really quick shot of the airport outfit. I know it doesn't look amazing. Ah, look at my socks. Okay, so we have a coat here, Belmont, and this heavy coat is gonna be cold there. I have these Lunia leggings I always wear. I'll show them to you later, and <laughs> not these shoes. I'm gonna put on hiking boots. And our car's waiting for us. Good morning, I've yet to do my hair, but we are at my mother-in-law's house right now. We had Thanksgiving, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and um, traditional Thanksgiving meal, really nice. Um, but I wanted to share with you what I put on my eyes. That Natasha Denona palette is so, so easy to use, and I thought it was a really nice combination for fall shades. Um, so I also have on, actually I don't have concealer on now, I have on the Even Up SPF 50, um, and then some of the Perfect Blur Powder Chantecaille, but I used the Natasha, did, did I say that? Um, but I'm also testing out the Victoria Beckham Beauty um, Cheeky Blush Stick, the one in Major. So that's why there's a little bit of darkness here, but I actually applied it over the blur powder. So I know some of you had questions about how long it lasts, so I'm gonna kind of time it today. We are headed to Tulsa. Oh, I don't have a lip on. Hold on, let me get a lip. I have on the Victoria Beckham Beauty lip color in Spark. Yeah, that's my favorite one, so I took that with me. I also have on the Even Up, I decanted it, um, the Even Up SPF 50. I've got on the Perfect Blur Powder. No concealer here. I did use the lovely um, Clay de Peau Concealing Brush, this one. I'm glad it comes with a little carrying case as well. So that works really nicely. There's just a little bit of a learning curve there. So really great one to travel with as well because it's so slim, you can see. So I use that to apply this concealer. I have on the Cheeky, like I said, the Cheeky Blush Shade by Victoria Beckham, this one. Um, the Chantecaille Mascara, the Chantecaille Eye Pencil, the black one. And then these are the shades I used in the Natasha Denona. That was it. Oh, and then I put a little bit of this right on the lid. A super fast eye and then just like I said mascara eyebrow pencil um, eyebrow gel here's my baggie of makeup I'm pretty simple when I travel with makeup just because this gets so dirty anyway um, I didn't even use everything in there <laughs> and then this for makeup that's it yeah so we're headed to Tulsa spent Thanksgiving with family yesterday but our flight is quite early in the morning so we go to downtown Tulsa to stay usually when we're here and then we catch the early flight out in the morning at the Tulsa airport. So it's a, we're a few hours away from Tulsa still. So that's why we've gotta leave this afternoon. We'll stay there tonight and then, otherwise it's a really early morning. <laughs> By the way, I am loving traveling with this and I didn't realize, actually my stepdaughter pointed this out too, that it unzips all the way. So that's pretty cool. And it fits my laptop in there. So I've got my laptop, I'm trying to load, but it's a little bit slow. I yeah, really like this. Okay, I've styled my hair and I just did it with a round brush and a hair dryer. So I'm trying to learn how, like I said, how best to do this, but I just put the round brush in and I go like this and I kind of twist, oh, let me go get the brush. So I just take this brush and I take it like this, my hair, and I kind of twist it while it's uh, got the blow dryer on it and then I let it stay. And it cools in that shape and so I get this kind of like very close wave because I don't want it too big out here. So this is the only place right here where it's, I'm not quite sure what's happening, but uh, at least on this side, that's, um, I like how it turned out on this side. So if you have hair like me and you want to try that without having a curling iron or a barrel, I forgot to bring the little hairspray that I got the um, Orbe, but so this is no styling anything in here. So I think my hair shinier that way. But that is how I styled this hair. But that blush is looking really nice and vivid 
and we'll see how long it lasts because we'll check in at least when we get to Tulsa. Um, so we're just gonna go pick up lunch. I don't know, I don't know where it is. I think we're on Brick Road, right? The streets are lined with brick. That was cute. Did they pave over some of the bricks? Yeah, locally made bricks, red brick roads. We don't know where we're going and this town is really little. As your mom said, it's near the post office, right near the post office. Here's the address. Uh, I'm just telling you the directions I got were it's near the post office and we are driving clear. The post office is now back here. Wait, go straight. <laughs> Half a mile this way. We're, we're going back in the direction we came from. There's the, what, feed store. You know you're in a farming town when it says feed store. It is the opposite direction. We're gonna end up back where we started. Yep. The map has us going literally in a circle, like where we just came from, that way, and then we turned around, we're going At back. stop sign, turn left. Turn right. So we're currently uh, driving through a, what is this? A tractor, tra tractor, a place where you buy tractors. There was hardly any inventory here, in fact. My husband's just looking at a tractor. It's pretty cute, it's got red. I don't think they go for cute, but it's got red wheels and it's green. I'll show it to you here in a minute. But it's like a little compact tractor. We're headed out to the farm. Is that correct? Um, so we're gonna visit one of his friends who's doing something on the farm. What are they doing? They're doing dirt work. I don't know what that means. But I also just ordered a couple things off Victoria Beckham Beauty and I ordered the um, priming moisturizer, which I've heard a lot about in Golden. Um, I still have that blush on, it's looking pretty good. And uh, let's see, what else did I order? Oh, one of the lid lusters, which I've never tried. I've never tried them. So I thought I would get that because it came with a free mascara and I would like to try the mascara too. So those two things are on the way. I've got color science things I've ordered and we're just gonna head out to the farm now. Look at the babies. Hey babies. Aww. <laughs> Look how little they are. Cute. Apparently this has wheat in it. <laughs> what can you tell? The drill marks tell you what's in there. Don't be scared. Why? They're running. Don't run. Look at that one guy. He's like, who are you? It's okay. They're so worried. Apparently we're in an executive suite. Don't need my mask. So we have this area for meetings <laughs> that we don't need. So we have this whole area and then we have another bathroom. Wow, where's this bathroom? Where's the lights? Okay, we have a whole other restroom over here. And then we have over here, it's very, very expansive. And then we've got the view of Tulsa, downtown Tulsa. If you've never been here, here's downtown Tulsa. We're gonna eat probably, not probably, we are gonna eat downstairs here in the hotel. It's pretty. And here's the other restroom. Lights. Oh, here's the other restroom. Nice. So we just arrived here and, oh, let's look at that blush. I don't know if you can see it, but it has lasted quite nicely. I'm gonna freshen up here because we're gonna have dinner with one of my husband's oldest friends, not oldest, but someone he's known for. How long have you known him? Since they were children. So we're gonna have dinner with him and his wife. So let me just get cleaned up here. But yeah, the blush lasted really nicely. Um, I know it's kind of bright, but 
I can see that the blush is still there, the Victoria Beckham. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for dinner and it's just in the hotel. Okay, I don't know if you can tell that my makeup's falling apart just a little bit here. So I'm gonna take this little water fresh tint that I brought with me and I'm gonna emulsify, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I'm gonna emulsify this and kind of smooth that out because right now things have settled in my pores a little bit. I just again had some sunscreen um, on there so I think that may be it, that even up. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth that out. That did a really nice job of smoothing that over. It's much more even now. Um, I refreshed under the eyes as well with the Chanel Water Fresh Tint. Again, that's why I love this so much. Such an easy product to use and also um, nice solution for when um, makeup is kind of falling apart after, gosh, I've had this makeup on for, uh, let me think, about seven hours now. So that's all. That's the only place I touched up though, right in this area. And I think I'll just powder and maybe put some eye drops in and then put a lip on. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm ready. Okay, refreshed now. And like I said, I just did a little bit of that Water Fresh Tint by Chanel. Put a little of the Perfect Blur Powder. I haven't refreshed the blush, but I can still see it. Put on the lip shade by um, Victoria Beckham Beauty and Spark. And then my hat did not give me hat hair, which I'm surprised about because I don't have any styling product in there because I didn't bring any. And it actually, it actually held the shape as well um, in terms of like the, just the very little bit of curl I put in there from the brush. And I brought this fragrance with me, the Baccarat Rouge. So I just applied that and we're ready to go. We're gonna go to dinner, like I said, downstairs here at the Hyatt. And then um, I think my husband said there's a speakeasy around the corner. So if there's anything interesting, I'll take you along. Back in the room, we didn't actually um, go to the speakeasy because they, well actually we went there and they were having a private event. <laughs> so we didn't actually go there. We ended up back at the restaurant um, and just had some dessert. We're gonna get ready to go home because tomorrow's flight is at six. Really, it's gonna be a short night, but wake up early. Um, I just wanted to talk about the blush though. I can see it, it did fade a little bit by now, but it's been over 12 hours. So I'm gonna say it lasted a good, what, 10 hours, like seven hours, I'm gonna say, was really how long I could really see it, but I can still see it on my cheeks. But I did also use that um, Water Fresh Tint a little bit on here, but I didn't put that much on. So maybe depending on how much I put on, it might, have lasted longer, but I went in pretty minimally. But we definitely have to go to sleep. Not sure if I'm going to end this vlog here or not, but if I do, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And of course I will be doing more of these, especially in December. We have lots of travel ahead for December, actually from December all the way to like mid-January. We're either traveling or having guests over, so it's gonna be quite busy. So you may see more vlogs than sit-down videos, but we'll see what we can fit in there. 